guys, Birdie here to paint with you your second art project in the Little Joy Box. This is your large canvas, the 8x10, and this month we have a cute little gnome holding uh, heart balloons. So let's get started painting. I have all my supplies ready. I have my rag. I have my paint palette should I need it for mixing colors. I have all my art pots or paint pots ready to go. I've got my brushes and I've got my water jar. So let's get started painting. Remember that you are free to paint your canvas however you want. I'm just going to paint it how I would to give you some ideas. And you can use those ideas and um, help and maybe they give you new ideas for painting yours. Okay, so I'm going to start by painting the gnome first. I'm going to use pink for his hat. I'm using the large flat brush for this process just so that I can get a large surface painted faster. But you can use whatever brush you're comfortable using. Just take your time and go slow. And there we go. I'm gonna just a little bit more up here, I forgot about. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick wash. Swish, swish, tap, tap, get the water off, and then we're going to squeeze any excess water out with our rag. And then I'm going to paint his beard gray. Okay, and then I'm going to paint the ground gray since I have it on my brush already. And that way I don't have to wash it again when I go to paint the ground. There we go. All right, I'm going to switch brushes to the liner brush because I'm going to paint his nose next and his little hands. I'm going to paint his nose this kind of peachy orange color. You could definitely just leave his nose white if you wanted to, or maybe he is a gnome, a blue gnome, kind of like a snurf, or a snurf, a smurf. Remember, you can paint it however you want. Okay. All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is paint his um, clothes, and I'm going to do uh, green or blue for that. So 
actually green. I'm going to go back to green. Sorry. I can't make up my mind today. Um, and I'm going to switch to my small flat brush for this because there's a little bit more detail happening around his beard. And a smaller brush can help me get into those smaller areas. Remember, holding your brush at different angles can help you get into those small areas by changing the way your brush puts paint on your surface. So holding it upright is going to give you a different brush stroke than holding it flat. there we go all right let's paint one of these balloons green as well and i'm going to paint the little pom-pom on the top of his hat green And I'm going to paint his shoes blue. Okay, and then I'll also paint one of the balloons blue. And then let's paint one of the balloons purple. There we go. So I'm not going to paint my background. I want it, the background to be all white, but you could definitely take a minute to um, paint the sky blue or whatever color you want. You could do stripes and patterns and all little swirlies if you want. You could put clouds out there um, and really just have fun adding elements in the background. But I'm going to leave mine white. I am going to put polka dots or I mean hearts on his uh, hat. So I'm going to switch to my liner brush and when you're creating hearts, if you think about creating a V, which is just two lines coming together, let me find a scratch sheet of paper here. So here is what a V looks like. If I make a really big V, okay, so that's a V. But if we make it super small, 
and put a little bit of pressure in it, it makes it look like we have a little heart. But all I did was make a small V. So little brush stroke from one side and a little from the other side and it makes a little heart. So that's a quick, easy way to make hearts. So we're just gonna come out and put little baby hearts on his hat. There we go. I think this cute little Valentine's gnome is done. All right, so I hope you enjoyed painting your large canvas. Remember you have your stand to display your artwork wherever that may be in your home. Your large stand looks like this. So that's what these two pieces are. You slide them together. So they sit on your table like this, and then we're gonna take our art and slide it into the little leg sticking out. And now you're able to display your art for the month of February. So have fun, um, and thanks for watching, and we will chat with you later in the next tutorial using our small canvas. Bye.